Hello. So a couple months ago I made a video explaining why you need to have global C states enabled on AMD CPUs. I thought it was only X3D CPUs, but it seems to me that it's spanning even further than that to all AMD CPUs. Seems like it's even AMD GPUs because their software relies on C states to know when your CPU is boosting or not. It might not be an issue if you have your core speed locked, but you can't really do that on 7800X3D. So you're kind of stuck relying on their drivers to work properly. So AMD is using CPPC as their scheduler, which is their scheduler, and it's installing drivers. The second you open Windows and connect to internet, you get these drivers installed. And I think that's a newer thing in the past couple months where you can't get around to downloading these. Like it's installed with Windows now within their own updates. So this driver, 3D Vcache and AMD PPM are both installed. They're not heavy drivers, they're not really doing that much. All it seems to me they're doing is changing uh, stuff in the registry so that your CPU is now reliant on uh, C states and all that stuff. So uh, before the issue is fixed, if you go into your uh, task manager and you look at individual cores when you're gaming and receiving stutters, you'll see that certain cores are spiking a rate to 100 and that's causing the stutters. That's really all it is. So you can't have your CPU running rate to 100. Usually the schedulers are trying to avoid that and put things on different threads and blah, blah, blah. So, uh, so yeah, that fixes that. So once you have these drivers all good, uh, CPPCs is all good and bias, but the real solution is enabling global C states. It has to be enabled, not auto. Auto, for some reason, on some motherboards, is actually disabled for whatever reason. So, and unfortunately, it's not just as easy as disabling or uninstalling these drivers. Like I said, after these are installed, it seems like your registry has been completely changed. You can do whatever you want with these drivers, but they don't really matter. All they've done, essentially, is change your registry so they're relying on global C states. And essentially, it's probably the motherboards, uh, whoever designed the BIOS, it's kind of their fault for not making sure that auto equals enabled, considering these CPUs are supposed to be just plug and play. And that's why you have this mixed bag of people who are like, oh no, my CPU runs great. And then you have a bunch of people who are like, oh no, I'm getting all these weird stutters. And then I switched back to Intel or whatever, and now it's all smooth. So yeah, that's really the solution. I think that's, that's as far as I can understand it. I don't really know if maybe it goes deeper than that. That just seems like the most logical way to think about it. So yeah, hopefully everybody's been enjoying their computer. So now I'm just thinking too, I've kind of catered this video towards 7800X3D, but this probably spans to all this AMD lineup, like all the multi CCD ones, like the nine or the 7900X3D and all those ones especially too. But yeah, so this really isn't the CPU's fault. This is the motherboard's fault essentially. But then when I was speaking with AMD uh, support a while ago, I wasn't really willing to give up my CPU because everything was working perfectly. It was running way above like the regular 6,000 uh, megahertz on RAM, like it was doing anything, it was running super good temps, all the voltages, everything was working perfectly. It was just these stutters, so I wasn't really willing to give up my CPU. I was rather just trying to figure out the issue, so uh, yeah.